questions, Coach, whenever you're ready. Today is signing day, so huge day for us, but these recruits are something else, so they kind of wait. Usually back in the day, everyone would have already announced their commitment, but uh, we're still waiting on a few. But I just wanted to highlight one that um, verbally committed to us before the summer, and um, it's Eloisa Carrera. She's from Brazil. Uh, she plays at IMG Academy, and uh, she's going to play, you know, small forward, power forward. Really excited about continuing with our international connection, uh, just diversifying our roster. And the more I look at our team, the more I think she's a perfect fit for us, so I'm excited for her to join us next year. You see it a lot with football, you know, kids waiting maybe back to the traditional February instead mm -hmm. of December for basketball. You kind of brought it up. Are you seeing girls wait to see what other school, like what rosters may look like? Kind of. You know, I think, I mean, we have a week. So, you know, we're, we're waiting to hear an announcement on Friday. So if we get that, then we, we get another kid. But one of the kids we're recruiting may not commit and make any decision until next year. <laughs> so... Um, Whatever works, you know. So for us, we kind of, they have their timeline and we have our timeline. And they're unpredictable nowadays, you know. They kind of wait, I guess, with the portal. You know, they kind of want to see what you're going to do. Um, but my argument to that is make a decision and then I'll know what I'm going to do in the portal because if you come, then I don't need to go in the portal. <laughs> so because here at Ole Miss, like, we don't use the portal just as our base recruiting, we use it to fill in spots, you know. So if we know that spot's filled in, I'm talking to the recruit, <laughs> then we won't have to, to venture in that area. Is that something that you find a lot, like recruits concerned about having someone come in over the top of them? or, or? Lately, just because of the portal. I and mean, the portal is a monster right now. But... Um, COVID year, next year will be the last year for COVID kids. That's Maddie and those. If they decide to return, that'll be it. And then after that, you know, you're back to being here for four years, which I would like to make the argument. I do think student athletes need five years. Um, it worked so well with COVID. You know, they need time to mature, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I think right now people are more cautious. And I just think it's just because of, you know, how things work with the portal. What sort of changes do you think, and so it gets asked a lot for football, mm -hmm. but what sorts of changes do you think need to be made for this whole portal era? And then I guess the traditional recruiting windows and mm -hmm. all of those sorts of things. Well, I, I definitely think it needs to be a shorter window. You know, coaches are on pins and needles until, like, I think the end of May. So, like... Come on, we're going to June and we don't know our roster. Uh, so that's that's frustrating because we have a job to do, you know. So I think it needs to be a shorter window because most times when a young lady wants to transfer, they've already made their mind up in January. <laughs> so, you know, um, it could change, but they kind of already know. And so what's the holdup, you know? Um, and I also think, like, I don't know. I think the portal is just its just a wild place. Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't know what's in there. It's like a box of chocolates, right? You never know what you're going to get. And so it's really scary as a coach to just rely on the portal because you don't know what's going to be in there, you know. So it's very nerve-wracking for the whole season as I sit around and I'm like, man, we really need a point guard, but will one good enough show up in the portal? And we've been lucky, but I don't think I do well in Vegas when I'm on vacation, so uh, I kind of want to stay away from, you know, placing any bets or trying my luck. Is evaluating players from the portal more difficult or different <clears throat> than you would uh, evaluating high school players? Oh, that's a great question. It's super easy because we have data. You know, so all we have to do is press a button and we get all their analytics. A high school kid, we have to project. We have to um, kind of see them in a bunch of different situations. A portal kid, as far as talent is concerned, we know what we're getting. 
Now, culture, we don't know what we're getting, and that's the challenging part because they still have to come in and buy into your system. And so I think that's why you're seeing a lot of top teams may fall early because they're trying to mesh and figure things out, and that's just normal when you think about the portal. What, I guess back to, to this team. Right. What, what, uh, <laughs> what uh, I guess, boxes, not check, but you see progress in Monday leading into tomorrow night? Well, uh, last year when we played Oklahoma, I thought we – Everyone knows this. We struggled to score offensively. Um, and I like to think we've improved that. Now we'll find out because I expect them to, you know, kind of do a lot of the similar things that they did last year, which was basically, you know, prove it to me. <laughs> so packing the lane in. I think that's their defensive system helping a lot. Um Really not coming outside anywhere, not even close to the three-point line, you know. Just being there on the catch, kind of a safeguard. Um, and so we have to be able to make plays and, you know, do a better job adjusting with that. After watching the film, I did not think that that was one of my better coaching jobs. Um, super disappointed in some of the adjustments I made. And granted, we had a chance to win the game. And we just blew it. Um, but I just felt like I could have made a lot of things easier for our team um, and didn't. And, and that stuff has already been adjusted because of the type of team I have and us being able to go to Europe. You, you mentioned uh, Monday just kind of how much you know about this team mm -hmm. and you didn't really learn anything. I mean, yeah. Are, are there things that you're curious about going into tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what it looks like for us to be in an adverse situation. You know, from the summer, we really hadn't been in it. And uh, we've kind of been smooth sailing. Um, and so I'm curious to see how they, you know, will respond that way. I think that's when you see the true character of people, not when I'm in the Sweet 16, when I'm in the Owen 16. That's when you see the true character of a, of a, of a woman or man. So... Really looking forward to that. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing who's excited about the big moment. You know, um, every game is a big game for us, but come on, y'all, it's a top 25 matchup. I'd like to think our players would be pumped up. I want to see now who's excited about, you know, playing under the lights against another top 25 team. I think it will be apparent in the first half you know, who who really is like, I'm here and I'm ready to play. That, I want to go back to your five-year idea that you tossed. Is that something that other coaches share? It's the first time I heard it. Which one? You want five years for athletes? Oh, sure. well, yeah. you know, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't color inside the lines. I'm an outside the lines type of gal. <laughs> so uh, I don't know that anybody thinks that way. But uh, that's just my opinion. You know how I say tweets are my own? That opinion is mine and not a representative of the university or any of my colleagues. Because if they hear this, they're probably cussing up a storm. But I just think um, it doesn't hurt. You know, we talk about the student athlete. We talk about, you know, mental health. We talk about we see injuries. You know, a lot of that could be avoided by just giving them five years. It worked with COVID. There were no issues. Um, players, and with the option after the fourth year to leave. I think, I think that, you know, allows the game to grow. When you look at how good the tournament was, it was because teams were old, you know. And we have some dynamic freshmen that are showing up and – all over the country, but the mature teams are winning. You know, Colorado just took down LSU. Colorado was in the Sweet 16 with us in Seattle, you know, and they returned everyone and, and added some. That's a mature group. That doesn't happen if they didn't have fifth-year kids on their roster, and I think three of their starters are fifth-year. So I just think it will be good for the game. Questions? 
Great. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thank you. Thanks.